In this month's van life news, we look at speed limit changes from 60 to 20 miles an hour in England. Naus announces a self-healing caravan and car drivers could be allowed to drive HGVs regardless of their license. Hi, I'm Ads and you can find links to all the news articles in the video description. Last month, I reported that the whole of Wales is planning on changing the speed limit on restricted roads from 30 to 20 miles an hour in 2023. However, this month, North Wales Live says that one of the trial areas, Monmouth County Council, will reverse the decision on this and put the speeds back to 30 miles an hour on some of its roads. This is due to complaints from drivers that the slower speed limits have caused more congestion. Then according to the Telegraph, Surrey County Council are going to trial a scheme to reduce a section of the A25 between Guildford and Dorking from 60 miles an hour to 30 or even 20 miles an hour to tackle dangerous driving and reduce joy riding in the rural areas. That's the largest reduction in speed that I've ever known about and I can see this causing a few accidents. Let me know if you agree or not. This next item caught my eye because next month we're going to be continuing our tour of the Wild Atlantic Way in the Republic of Ireland. You've heard of popular places in the UK such as the NC500 being overrun by motorhomes and camper vans due to the sudden increase in the van life popularity. Well, Ireland also has its problems. Reported by RTE, code of conduct for camper vans to be introduced in Kerry. Apparently, huge numbers of camper vans are being parked overnight on Kenmare Pier on the popular Ring of Kerry route because there is no camping available in town. The pier is a popular coastal walkway and there's no room for locals to park and therefore they've complained. A code of conduct similar to the one County Donegal re recently released will provide helpful advice and information on what to do and what not to do. I'll leave a link in the video description. Some hot news now. The Metro reports holiday makers flee after a camper van burst into flames at a petrol station. An American style RV burst into flames while the driver was filling up at a Morrison's garage in Weymouth, Dorset. Within minutes, the fire had spread throughout the motorhome, completely gutting it. It took around 20 firefighters to put the blaze out. Then, according to the Doris Eck Doris. <laughs> Then according to the Dorset Echo, the garage was reopened after almost two weeks. A spokesman for Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service said, due to the extent of the damage to the vehicle, it's impossible to say with 100% certainty what the cause was. However, the most likely cause is an electrical fault in the engine bay of the vehicle. No one was hurt, but that looks pretty scary, doesn't it? However, as you can see from the video, there are still people driving around it. And let's not forget the person holding the camera. And also a witness saying, as we drove past, we could feel the heat from the fire and staff are all out in the road trying to direct traffic away to stop anyone else coming in and making sure that nobody was getting too close to it. I don't think there was a risk of a petrol station blowing up, unlike you see in the movies, but even so, I wouldn't go anywhere near it. And those brave staff, they must be wetting themselves. Let me know what you think in the doobly-doo. Naus has revealed its new models for next year. And due to the recent shortage of Fiat Ducato chassis, they've decided to use different chassis manufacturers for its range, including VW, Mercedes and Ford. I particularly like the CUV based on the VW. But that is not all. Naus has announced a caravan called the Azure, which has a self-healing fibre frame. There is no detail on this yet, but it sounds really exciting and innovative. But I'm sure we're not talking about healing the likes of Christine here. I wonder if they're ever going to put it on a motorhome. So, is this a gimmick? utter nonsense or do you think the future has arrived early 
I'd love to know what you think. Some of you may have to close your ears for this next one, especially the young and the innocent. The Metro reports that campervan owners ruining road by urinating in bushes and having loud sex. A whole load of camper vans have set up camp along Boscarwin Road and Cliff Road in Falmouth, Cornwall. Some have been there for months and the residents say they are using the bushes as toilets, which is obvious by the smell, despite the public toilets only being hundreds of yards away. But not only that, loud sex can be heard coming from their vans. I guess it's better than doing it outside their vans though, right? One camper had told a resident that he was living in his van while his home was up for rent on Airbnb. Falmouth Town Council is considering adding overnight parking restrictions and a traffic restriction plan, but also extending the opening times for the public toilets. I'm not in support of these camper vanners, but while reading the article, you do get a sense of it being one-sided and exaggerated. For example, Parents walking past with their children can hear people having loud sex inside their vans, as if everyone is doing it and lots of children are, are witness to it. Also, calling it a free campsite, but I don't see anybody in the photos camping outside with chairs and barbecues, etc. I get it that the residents want them to move on, but is it really all that bad? And I guess that the wild camping bill would move them on, right? Go read the article, link in the video description, and let me know what you think. The law could be set to change to allow car drivers to drive heavy goods vehicles. If you have a C1 category on your license, then you can drive vehicles up to seven and a half tons, such as a motorhome. If you only have a category B, then you can drive vehicles up to three and a half tons, such as a camper van. For more details on driving license categories, I've added a link in the video description. This change, however, could mean that any driver will be allowed to drive any size vehicle, which could mean those folk with a B category license could upgrade from their camper vans to the motorhome they've always wanted. Why has this come about? Well, you may be aware of the lack of HGV drivers we've had recently with shops not being fully stocked and petrol stations out of fuel. Blame has been put on many things, including the pandemic and Brexit. So the Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, will open a consultation on whether to relax licensing to allow drivers to drive larger vehicles, which you would hope would help the HGV shortage. Shapps wrote in a letter to MPs, it has been suggested that now the UK has left the European Union, we may wish to allow all car drivers, not just those who passed their test before January the 1st, 1997, the right to drive these larger vehicles without the need for a further test. Changes to the licensing categories would potentially create a greater pool of drivers. I'm quite happy to explore this idea and how this may work in reality without making any commitments to legislative change at this stage. Of course, this sounds preposterous, but for me, the problem isn't the license, it's the lack of training these drivers won't have. Do you think this is a good idea? Let me know in the doobly-doo. That's it for this month. Goodbye.